uh, hello friends welcome to this video so in this video we will talk about that uh, how we can actually convert the markdown files to pdf documents so first of all we are actually using a node.js right here you can see that and we are using two packages first package will actually convert your markdown file parse it convert to html and then the second package will actually convert that html to pdf document so we are actually using markdown dash it which is actually a very famous markdown parser and then secondly we are using html dash pdf dash node which is actually takes the html and converts them into pdf so this is actually the example and if i just show you how to run this we have the sample dot markdown file right here you can see this is a very basic markdown file that is available and if i try to run this index.2.js file here if i run this file you will see on the left hand side first of all it will actually parse the markdown and convert this to html and then we will convert the html to pdf so if you see it is compiling this template to handlebars so a result.pdf file is created if you see now all this markdown file that you saw sample.markdown file is successfully converted to pdf file you will see that so this is actually the pdf file i can open it in the browser as well so you can see we will look at in this video how we can do this step by step so these are two packages that we are using right here the first package is markdown dash it if you just search it the very first package which comes right here this is a modern pluggable markdown parser almost 6 million weekly downloads are there so it's a very famous package which allows you to work with markdown files converts them into html markdown to html and then we have the second library which is html dash pdf dash node so this actually converts any html content that you have to pdf document so almost 29,000 weekly downloads are there so it's a very handy package which actually takes any html that you want to convert to pdf document so we will look at both these things so now let's let's get started so the very first thing i will do i will require this package markdown it i will require this markdown it package and then we will also require this package which will actually convert the html to pdf so html pdf dash node and then we also need to require the file system dash extra package as well and then we will simply write a function guys which will actually first of all convert the markdown to html this will be an async function and we will be expecting the markdown path to be passed as an argument this will be an async function arrow function so convert markdown to html we are expecting the markdown file to be passed as an argument so right here we will be writing our main function which will be again be an async function so right here guys we will be giving the markdown path so this will be sample dot markdown because it is present in the same directory if you see it is present in the same directory so we are giving the path and then we also need to give it the path of the output file so output.pdf will be created in the same directory and now we need to simply say convert this markdown file to html so for doing this we need to simply await and we will be calling a very simple function that we will make convert markdown to html we will be passing this markdown path as an argument so we are actually calling this above function right here and passing this markdown file as an argument so this function which actually converts your markdown to html very simple we basically first of all read it with the file system module we will read this markdown file pass the path and the second argument will be the encoding type which will be utf8 encoding type and after that we will instantiate this markdown it package that we included you can see at the top we included this it's a parser we are instantiating a new instance of it and then this object that we have got contains a method called as render we will actually use this method to actually parse this markdown that is present inside this file and we will pass the markdown that we got by reading it so now we will actually get this html content now we just need to make this html document so backtick symbol so that we can write multiple lines of html code so right here we will write this basic html tag
we will give it markdown to html so inside the body tag we will be html content like this so now we can simply return this html from this function that's all that it is doing it is actually parsing this markdown file that we got and converting it to html and returning it from this function that's all so if i console log it html content and simply call the main function right here so first of all the main function will be called and then it will call this function and it will return this html from here and we are console logging it and try to run this index2.js you will see it will actually print out this uh, html you can see this is actually this html that we got we converted parse this markdown that we got and we actually converted this, this to html so now the next task is to actually convert this to a pdf document this is really easy after we get this html content the second function we will be creating is uh, create the pdf from html so here we will pass this html content as the first argument and the second argument is the pdf path so we are passing two arguments here pdf path and this html content so now we just need to make this uh, function which is uh, create a pdf from html it's the async function html content and uh, pdf path so here you can see that we are creating the pdf from html and we are passing these two arguments so right here we will have the options the format will be a4 and then the content here will be html content and then we will simply say await so after we get this file whatever content that we fit we set the options format to be a4 so then we have this function pdf dot generate pdf so this actually is a method right here generate pdf right here if you see we are requiring it this pdf package and it contains a method called as generate pdf we will pass this uh, file alongside with the options so then it will return this promise we can handle this and this is actually the buffer which is returning and now we can simply save the pdf document by using file system module passing at the location that we want to save and the buffer the content that's all that we need to do right here and if you see if i run this application now let me change the file name to be print.pdf so what you will see if i run this on the left hand side print.pdf will be created so you will see that this markdown file is successfully converted to pdf document so in this way you can actually do this process step by step i showed you and please hit that like button subscribe the channel as well and i will be seeing you guys in the next tutorial